Heading back to the hideout. Heading back to the hideout. Uh, and first, uh, what's social life? We being so. <laughs> Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Thank you. That's cheap good information. And also, thank you for that bullet. I'll use a bullet wisely, okay? Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Uh, well, social life, you know, is being social, you got to go out and hang out with your mates. You know, you got you got to have that outdoor life as well. You know, uh, so you stop interacting with your mates, you you're gonna feel more depressed and questioning why or what happened and why I'm not doing it. And it's not at least about things. Um, but no, having friends is really important. You know, having that support, I was having to talk to and stuff. It, it's a big deal. Um, Really is a big deal. Uh, I have to pick it. I think I'll just pick with. Stick with these weapons. Although. I don't know. I want to wait until hacking is available. Um. Mm. All right. So how's it doing? How's Mark doing? Hello, how's it going? Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. What? Well, come on now. Like, you can't be saying these sort of things, Aaron. What are you doing? Even if he was right, it's only a guy. Come on, let's face it. Jesus. That bullet is going to come in handy, all right? That bullet will go straight through a bloody Terminator's face, okay? It's going to come in handy. It's, going to be, it's between life and death, that one bullet, all right? Uh, how's Mark doing? How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? Uh... Do you feel much time resistance? How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Fair point. How do you feel about joining do you want to join the resistance? Do you think you could help more people by joining the resistance? 
Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. All right, third point again. Uh, all right, over that camp. How about that camp. What do you want to know? Everything, every, every single detail. I'm joking, I'll get every single detail. It's <laughs> different questions. Uh, up. Um, what, what work did you do there? How did you communicate with the machines? Man, I'm thinking. I think, what, what did you do? What did you say you were a doctor? What work did you do there? Most of the time, I moved bodies for disposal. Sometimes their skin would be peeled off. Oh, it was horrific. Why would machines ever do that? My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. This guy never noticed she was pregnant. Uh, what was the plan? What was your plan? I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Hmm. Uh, where did you bring on the nomination line? Uh, did they go after you? Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her. But deep down, we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken. So stop bothering me. Wow. Although she appreciated it. We'll take that. Secretly inside, you know, in her heart, she thought, mm, I needed that. I needed to release some of that. So, yeah. I will take that. How are you doing, Laura? Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. No problem, though. Mark, you're gonna hang in there, right? It's gonna be okay. Just chill. Um, right, let's go. Can we trade for anything here? Oh, yeah, wait, before we do that, before we do that. Okay, now sit. Roll over. Got those areas to unlock. Fetch! We've got a lot to learn. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Cook on Wolfie, same name as me. Well, but I think you better not. <laughs> um, let's go with let's go Max. How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. I should like it. Patrick and Max. Hopefully you both form a brilliant bond. But I've got to be somewhere. Uh, you blocked her. So I'm guessing trying to be friends again is impossible at this stage. Will there be any like Future where you two become friends again, or is it like a fat effing no or something? Big fat no. Well, I guess 
um, between you and you know Trin, uh, in your well, not my not my uh, experience. In your experience, it seems like Trin is a bit of a toxic person. So keeping the toxic people out of your life is definitely the way to go. So I'd say good on you. And now working on your weight, personal goals is pretty good. So. Good trade. I used to need a med kit, so I used to, I think I used to before. Uh, should I get some ammo? Let's see what can craft. Three more med kits. I would get plasma bullets, but I haven't got a plasma gun, so it's useless. So, I think we're good with materials and ammo right now. Okay. Skills. Yeah, again, I'm going to see the skills. So we know how to hack because I don't remember exactly when that happens. It is close, it happens soon, but um, if it happens in the near, I don't know, I don't want to waste it and not use it on that. So I'm playing it safe for now. I think we've answered everyone's questions. I think we've been to, been to yeah, Patrick, uh, Aaron, yeah, all right, Ryan, let's see what you have to say. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll just have a look. Um, so how's the bus coming along? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Hmm. Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right, I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker, hitting on this lady guard, or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. Hmm. Uh, you have a brother? Uh, band, what was his name? Band? <laughs> Where was it? Oh, Tucker was it, always so. dragged me to these events. Uh, driving a hundred miles to the middle of nowhere just to jump around with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, she was toxic. Well, wasn't really my thing. Sounds like it, I you would have known that it would have saved my life, though. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Uh, what was it? What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. The atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. In my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. I finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. 
<laughs> All right. I'll uh, I'll do this medical district, then we'll see what we get. Up. It's, uh... Once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. I need to lead. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look, this poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Alright. So we've got another sub, sub uh, mission. We've got to uh, find our tactics for Iron. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? Hmm. So with these, I usually kill them. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really sneak by them. I get for XP, so yeah, I don't really use those sound decoys.
items, got some more trade items there as well. Very nice. Finish off first of these silverfish. Right, they're taken care of. Um, right, yes, yeah, this is for you. Some more ahead. I don't want to destroy that turret as much as I want to. There's a hacking thing just next to it, so I do want to know how to, I, when I actually unlock it. Come useful when I come back here, maybe. Although. Trading items. I can device acquired and you can yeah, here we go. And now this we can hack. Amazing, now we can start hacking.
And the reason why I've done this Because I'm pretty sure more T800s come that way afterwards, so that turret's going to help out. I can take over those by hacking it. I wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device. Not quick enough. Not quick enough. There we go. So you got another dot uh, across the whole line with these. Uh, Avoiding these uh, markers. The lines do move, so it just become harder. It's very easy though, this one. And turn this green once you know you're taking over. So. Get many attempts. The. The. Uh, Markers are in the corner of the tent area. Now, if you do take over one, the one will have the, the turret of fight the other turret by default. But if we can get there in time, we can save both. shots doing it though it's a bit risky but it does help in the long run trust me Okie dokie, let's go. Come on, best thing right now. No, no, I died. Sucks. Um, hopefully, hasn't left me out at the very beginning. Okay, easy to 
those. Okay. It's best to do it when they're not walking at you, but I'm just gonna get it done so I'm getting hit. Fabrics, loving it. They are T hundred. Just capture someone. Ah, oh, poor guy. Wow, that is just terrifying. The others have to be here too. It kind of looks like the T one thousand a little bit. <laughs> I can't lie. Kind of same kind of head. Was that on purpose? Yeah, it's gotta be on third. Yeah. Right. I thought you left. Oh, he's talking to Pinguini. Oh, okay. It's a lot of terrier somewhere. You're going to laugh today. We can't fight them with the guns we've got, so we've got to sneak by them. Never heard of it. Is it any good? Oh my god. 
hard. Damn it, quick. There's another locked area somewhere. I think it's scary. Well, pretty gruesome. I want to find out how to get that area. I think it's into the part of the house. Let's get check. No. I want to know that do where that door is, man. I'm going to go back on myself here. I 
Ah, we're good. We're not good hearing. <laughs> Depending on difficulty, it could be harder. Good to go. Do you hear that? So someone's coming. He's one of us. Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it, and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals. Thanks, Sam, Phil. So we've got hacking. Just let him think no one's here for now. I need to get uh, close to that turret.
<laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm on my way out. Good job. You can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. Skynet is sending reinforcements. That is why I'm hiding behind this. <laughs> but yeah, when we get up here, a lot of them come through here. I want to come back. It's because I can do it with my life. Going to the turret. Yeah, they are dying. Well, this one now isn't budging. Yeah, it's going to it.
Well done, well done to it. You're nearly dead, but <laughs> you managed to do it. Congratulations. skill is too low. Oh, I'm keeping it anyway. Going down the same way. Yeah, they are. I don't know if my turret can hold out that much. It's on fire, my turret, you know, I think, isn't it? Can't kill them.
made it. Speech, Jennifer. How's it going? Oh, thank God you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? <laughs> no more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up, too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. What was he like? He was a kind and hard-working man. But he was clever, too. He would constantly come up with these intricate ways to get me to help out. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. Uh hmm. not at all. That was very clever. Yeah. He was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns, so the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <laughs> I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Sounds like a champion of dad jokes. He may have coined the term. I was begging for him not to find a whoopee cushion on a scavenger hunt. He'd literally get a heart attack from the excitement. <laughs> Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. I should appreciate that. It's always good to know about their family as well. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. Let's go and speak to Evan then. We do have the antibiotics now. Hello. Do this real quick.
Okay, there you go. Where's your first? Yeah, never mind. Where's Laura went to? Oh, she's in, oh actually, well, that's, that's right. But where's Laura? That's just weird. Where's Laura went to? Oh, she's there. Oh, there's Max in the hatchery. Snuggled in. No need to worry, I'm fine. Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at. Hmm. Alright. Um, skills. I do want to upgrade my weapons. Right, I think we're good for now. Alright, well, I'll leave it here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the stream video, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.